Hello and welcome to another episode of Diablo 4. We are continuing to play the expansion, the Vessel of Hatred. Now last we left off, we came here to this little village. Nayrel has been here somewhere. We're supposed to go to Emu, doing Reaching Through the Veil. Eru says that a boon is our only chance to survive in Travancal. What is this boon? What power can help us in the heart of the corruption in Nahantu? So... I did see that the uh, Madman's Archive is uh, still kind of like quest marked. Yeah, so Eru is still there. Okay. So we could kind of redo what we did before. If I'm understanding this correctly. Which is, I guess, a bug. Yeah, Eru's just chilling here. Not really sure why this is the way it is, but it's fine. We're just going to be traveling to the burial. <laughs> And as you may have heard, uh, my microphone is a bit different again from the previous episode. Who saw the lion? Who saw the lion? Psst. Liar. All right. Well, it's that's true. fine. It looked right We're traveling all the way over there. The and yeah, still messing with the microphone and the sound settings, trying to get it all to work. Semi-successful. Uh, because of time constraints, I'm just going to have to record this in the next two episodes without quote-unquote fixing it. But... Hopefully it sounds okay. Do let me know. Feedback is always, always appreciated. In the similar vein, I'm not in level 60 yet. So I actually lowered it to hard to make this a little bit easier. While still hopefully maintaining some of the challenge. A drag infestation. Help me uproot it. Hmm. Yeah, because right now I'm incredibly squishy. And I, like, I do enough damage, but the squishiness is a real problem. I need to go through my equipment, honestly. I'm going to have to do that. Yeah, see? It's terrible. <laughs> Absolutely terrible. I'm going to try this one more time. And if we're not successful this time, I'm just going to go through my equipment and I'll be back. Yeah, because we do the damage that is more than good enough. Yeah. Thank you. Now, could you clean up their mess? This place was meant to be sacred. Not a brew house for drag slop. So we just need to destroy the cauldrons. Okay, I'm going to really quickly just head into town, repair my equipment, put in some gems, and hopefully that will give us some survivability. Okay, gems have been socketed. I have a lot more armor now, so let's see how this goes. What spirits are you calling on? Ah, you wouldn't know him. He keeps to himself. Okay, cool. What are the dregs? Lost souls drunk on the toxins of the wilds. Usually travelers from other shores who didn't know a thing about this patch of sanctuary and never cared to learn. They twist the jungle to their needs, squeeze its lifeblood into poisons. They take and take and take. Careful you don't sip from their bruise. You might find yourself hooked as they are. Is there anything else I must do to prepare? What is the sound? Like the, the, the music volume there. there. Is terrible. I'm guessing this is the place we're in. Is there anything else I must do to prepare? No, you've done plenty. In cleansing the space, you've cleansed yourself. All that's left is to reach out. I'm ready. Heni oiso hana wehacho akarat. Who are you to ask such a boon of me? You know me, Great One. I am Eru, Elder Spiritborn of Nahantu, faithful steward of the Spirit Realm, and ever your servant. Rise, Eru. I did not seek service in life, nor do I need it now. 
Tell me why you seek this gift. We march on the cursed city of Dravengal to save a friend. She is in great danger. Ah, my child. Your intent is pure, but to place yourself as a giver of salvation can only lead to disappointment and despair. If you do not give her the strength to save herself, you are only postponing loss. But this much I will do. I shall lend you my light to open your way into the darkness of Travancore. And when next we speak, perhaps you will have found greater understanding. Eru, Wanderer, Zawuni Hu Pakik. Okay, cool. Um, the spirit knew me. You should consider yourself lucky. You've got less to prove than the average boon seeker. He's given us protection against the hollow rot. We'll never get a better chance than this. Meet me outside Travencal. Alright, so that was... Reaching Through the Veil. So that was quest 3 out of 5? No, 6 out of 10. So that is, I guess, a third of the way, or three-fifths of the way done. Okay, cool. Hmm, so this is like a Helltide region right now. So we've explored, what, a fourth of Nahantu almost? So there's a lot to find still. Okay. Well. What feels like fire in my veins? Could it be her? Lilith. Hmm. Okay. And because we lowered the difficulty, I don't think I'm going to be getting any more legendaries, which is <laughs> kind of annoying. I might increase it back again to expert. We'll see. I did increase my survivability. Good. Now let's read the text. The boon we sought was a blessing of Akarat. Eru managed to call his spirit and ask for his blessing. We can't waste time anymore. We have to find Nerel. We have to not die as well. I think this is better. I think we're a bit more... How do you call it? Not quite as squishy. <laughs> Which was the main concern I had before. Join me, will you? Tell me about Dravenkal. Dravenkal is the heart of every bad thing that's ever happened in Nahantu. A prime evil was caged here once, broke his bonds, killed the city, would kill the world if we let him. So I think that was was that Mephisto? It was one of yeah, it was one of the prime evils, and I guess the Nice Akarum held it, and they were slowly corrupted over the centuries, something like that. I don't quite remember all the lore. What are we waiting for? Swells abroad as far as the eye can see, and you're jumping at the bit to wade right in. Slow down, friend. You may have a spirit's blessing, but this place smothers all holy things. To make things worse, the whole city is warned off. To keep us out, or Nerel in, I don't know. All right, so we need to just follow Eru. We're gonna kill these real quick first. Makes sense to kill all the hollows around him before he does the ritual. What are you going to do? I'll need to tend our connection to the spirit. Keep the flame lit, so to speak. The ritual might attract attention though. So be ready and watch my back. We hacho akarat. Ha eopa. 
Alright. I'm just curious what it says. Yeah. We need to find Arel essentially. After having called the spirits. Let's speak with him again. This light will it protect us. So long as you stay close. So stay close. I do wonder if I would die if I was not close to him. That would be interesting. Like, am I gonna take damage if I do this? Yeah. I can't save you a second time. Okay. That's kind of fun, that he will scream at you if you try to leave. <laughs> Next ritual. So the triggers for the dialogue are kind of broken. That's disappointing. <laughs> I mean, on one hand, I am kind of messing around, but on the flip side, it should not be quite as glitchy as it is, in my opinion. That's pretty cool. The blessings of Akarat light our path in Travancall, where the presence of the Soul Stone strengthens all monsters. I can feel the blessing working through the light. We we'll need to spread this light across the city, one sconce at a time. What is this beacon? Travancall was a Zakarum city. These old hunks of metal still remember the holy light they once carried. They are anchors for the spirit I call them. They strengthen his boon, offer a place for his energy to rest, and a moment of respite. Not just for us, but for the spirits of all who perished here, too. Hmm, I see. So you need to light three other braziers. Can I... Yes. Just climb down. So this was a city before? Her hair is taking a lot of damage. Oh, he's healing up by killing stuff. That's good. So we just kill everything, and then we uh, light the brazier. Is there a text related to the braziers? Yes, this place is truly cursed. We must press on and light the braziers within the city to push the evil back. Okay, so there aren't any like immediate enemies because of this. All right, yeah, we'll, we'll do a little loop. Oh yeah, I should resume using the potions. There we go. Getting that XP bonus, very important. Especially while we're doing main story quests, because we get a lot of quest experience, I believe.
Like, I could theoretically just run to the end of the stuff, like ignore the monsters, just do the braziers, but I think doing something of an in-between is important. Like, now we're just running past them. Here to the brazier. And now we kill everything around it. Music is pretty epic. Oh, almost done. Oh, can we just do this? I guess we could. Yes. The braziers have been lit and the darkness has been pushed back. The Hall of Corruption, too, seems to wither under the light. We can now search deeper in the ruins for Nero. That's fantastic. So I'm guessing it's going to be a dungeon. The city design is really cool. You look like you want to ask me something. Let's be honest with one another. Hmm? Wherever your friend goes, death follows. Now she walks right into Travancal. Right into the old prison of the Lord of Hatred. Tell me the truth. Nereel's prisoner. Who is it? Mephisto. Well, it's out in the open now. I'm not saying I like it, but there might still be time to save her. Are you sure he's the prisoner? Doesn't matter. Let's go into the dark. A bunch of experience. We completed an additional quest. We're now up to 7 out of 10. I don't quite get why it says 4 out of 5. Not really sure. So we now have the Heart of All Rot. Search the Durance of Hate with Eru for Science of Nerel. I think we're going to do this quest as well. Uh, Kind of making this episode a little bit longer than the previous ones. But we do want to kind of get a, a move on. Search the Durance of Hate with Eru for Science of Nerel. We've entered the ancient ruins of Travancal in search of Nerel and the source of the corruption. I only hope we are not too late. This is quest 10 of The Wound Heals, The Pain Lingers. Let's go. The Durance of Hate. Mephisto's prison once. Now, something else. I'd hoped to never come here. Yeah, well, can't always get what you want. On one hand, I understand that evil is always going to rise again because the game, like, you can't make expansions and sequels if you actually win. On the flip side, I kind of don't understand how <laughs> humanity has survived so long. I know Tyrael helped a lot in Diablo 1, 2, and 3, but still. It seems kind of implausible that humanity would ever have been able to, like, survive. Anything new in the quest? Yeah. Just that we have to find Nerel and source of corruption. I hope we are not too late. Oh, we actually do get some legendaries. Now the question is, do they give us any... They do actually give me a lot more damage. Ooh, that's nice. So I'm actually still going to be able to get some decent equipment. Even when lowering the difficulty. Heading this way.
Almost level 53. And I believe you unlock Torment at level 60 after having gone through the pit. Like, you unlock the pit at level 60, and you have to get to a certain level there to unlock Torment 1. So, let's see if we will be able to towards the end of this campaign. Because I'll be playing a bit in the background as well, leveling up and stuff. If I'll be able to uh, do the final portion of this campaign at Torment 1. Wow, that was brutal. So we need to survive the Hollow's Assault. Or an A-Rail. I'm surprised that... Um, the consequences of the Sector... Let me just see if this has anything... Yeah, okay. No, no, no new information. <laughs> that makes sense. One thing that is really good with this build is I get a lot of, like, staggering and knockback with this build. Which is absolutely fantastic. We are melting through this, to say, Vesicator? Is that what we fought with Rahir at the bridge? I think so. Maybe. All right, fantastic. Only she can unmake her prison. 
seek our Mulan, for he has strength to lend her. We must trust him. Go! Into the portal! What is he gonna do? Is he just gonna stand there? <laughs> Okay, so my assumption now is that there are going to be a few different spirits here in the Hantu that we need to help, which will help uh, her. She is going to unmake her prison, but in the case, either die and Mephisto will come out or, well, we'll see. A spirit of Akira has appeared and lent its aid, but we are unable to free Nerel. We must find a way to break the Soul Stone's influence over her. Speak with Eru outside endurance. She couldn't be much older than the Fey. Whatever it takes, friend, we'll free her. That's fun that the mercenaries talk. I wish I could hear the dialogue of our reinforcement as well when we did this, but it's fine. Nerel doesn't have long, does she? No. I don't think she has long at all. That trance is the one thing keeping Mephisto at bay. If we interrupt her now, she'll be lost to us. But don't give up on her yet. This is the hunt. Help is needed, so help is offered. And Akarat believes she can still be saved. That's enough for me. Who is Abulan? How will he help Nerel? Abulan is a spirit. As for how he'll help, only Akarat knows. Abulan saved my life once, a long, long time ago. Only to be asking for his help again. That spirit was Akarat the prophet, wasn't it? Who else? Akarat. He was... I think he's the reason Nerel is still holding on. Akarat said that Nerel needs Abulan's aid. If he believes Abulan can help her, we'd best listen. Go. Leave Travenkar. Travel southeast. We'll meet in Krast. Alright, so that was the heart of all rot. Yeah, 5 out of 5, the Heart of All Rot. A bunch of experience, fantastic. We only have two more quests. One of them is basically go to Kuras right here. But we will be leaving that for next episode. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. Join us next time when we continue with, well, <laughs> traveling to Kuras and the expansion. I upload content six days a week. Diablo 4 with the regular schedule on Mondays and Fridays, but maybe coming out on Wednesday this week as well. We'll see. Do let me know what you think so far of the story. I thought the cinematic was pretty cool. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.